and I had no idea. I made my name in like seventh grade, so I mean, I've been brought up by European parents, and I had no idea. All of right. Well, I'll be more German than you know. Yeah, well, on Starcraft, people will like say like a joke about it and stuff, and I'm like, dang, like people actually know about it, so I can't. <laughs> I have to change. It. But I came up with a cool name. So. Wait, your name was a war or what? No, it was a. a uh, no, my name is not. My name is my name, but. <laughs> uh, K R I S T A L L N A C T is like. Uh, Crystal Nacht? Crystal Nacht. Crystal Nacht. Okay, Crystal Nacht was w- what? That one night in Germany where it, uh, they went to go herd the Jews, right? And so. Mass genocide. Exactly. Yeah, they they yeah. destroyed the I windows and everything. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's what they were saying that your name is? I mean, so it, it kind right? of is. Like, if, if you look at Crystal Knight, the Knight of Broken Glass, it's like Crystal Nacht. Like, I mean, it's night. Knight is supposed to be ambiguous, right? Like, oh, are you a knight in shining armor? Are you, you know, talking about the night sky? Yeah. Or, no, no, you're talking about Jews and Muslims, so. <laughs> Alright, so we've so, got the Doug versus. Not, you I guess. You can call it the Christmas night, but I'm about to change it. Once I change it on Smash Bros., it's done. The battle against anti Semitism? So is, is it CK or is it KK? <laughs> Nature Master. <laughs> no, I'll show you. This has been a crazy minute and a half I'm intro kidding. to this video. No, that's been recorded. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. I'm okay with that. That's that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, it's gonna be. It's gonna be we are saying we have Doug versus Crystal Knight, and apparently Crystal Knight's name refers to Crystal Nacht from Germany, and it's as though he is trying to, uh, yeah, kind of a controversial name. Apparently, Crystal Knight is all about killing Jews. Well, this is actually really interesting because we also have Adam and Deshaun here who promote Jews. Yeah, so and Crystal Knight is here to put a stop to it. What? <laughs> Oh my in gosh. Were the fallen soldiers in the Brolicoff. Oh, the Brolicoff. The good cat and Falcon. All right, here we go, here we go. We've got Red Marth versus Red Sheik. This is a matchup that I'm so well versed in, specifically with these colors, too. Chain grab to, uh, I guess, uh, about 10%. Couple tilts. Crystal Knight moving really fast right now. Doug messes up his recovery, comes back. Needs to get that grab. This whole match is about getting that grab, but even better than that is what you do with the grab. So let's see what these two characters will do. Right now, Crystal Knight trying to do a little bit of a poking. Needs to get grounded and shield. Should have shielded. Doug trying, <laughs> trying to keep Crystal Knight off, but he gets back on, and he's going to probably take three more hits. That's two. One more big one from Crystal Knight. There's the third one. Now Doug probably had. Oh, Doug should be able to get the momentum, but Crystal Knight keeps him off. Mmm, tries to do a down tilt forward air, misses the down tilt. Crystal Knight should stay at the bottom and shield. I don't understand why he's being so aggressive. I guess it's kind of working, but he's trading when he could just be dominating. Uh, uh, tries to go for something cheeky like Mewtwo King. Doesn't work out for him. Oh, uh, that was some crazy movement there by Crystal Knight trying to sneak up on Marth. Uh, right there, if Crystal Knight had just only... Oh, that's a heartbreaker. If Crystal Knight had just grabbed the edge for invincibility frames and then dropped off of the back air, that would have been perfect way to edge guard Marth, but he chose to go out there without any invincibility at all. Still picks up the kill. Crystal Knight trying to do a little bit of platform camping. Actually, looks like it was a mind game because it took the bottom road. Chucks the needles, trying to get Marth to jump. Marth plows straight through. Not a good decision against a Sheik. Spot dodges, but can't do anything to capitalize with it. Trying to poke at Sheik. Crystal Knight knows about that. Crystal Knight has played Marth before. In fact, I haven't seen Crystal Knight's Marth all night. I don't know where it's been. It doesn't exist anymore, he says. Doug with a really good solid kill on Crystal Knight, and now he's looking to camp a little bit. Crystal Knight has the needles, though, so I don't know how much... It depends how aggressive, how angry Crystal Knight is. Is he going to keep approaching that Doug? Uh, pokes him off. Doug gets to grab, and he's just going to play this nice and solid textbook style. The fire, the flames... Doug comes through the fire and flames, though. With that guitar solo. Shoutouts to uh, Dragon Force Hate. Specifically, Dragon Force Hate. According to Adam, that's Dragon Force Hate. <laughs> Jab, down, tilt, forward air. Sends him out. This should be invincibility frames. I, I don't understand why Chris and I does not like the invincibility frames, but at 106%, he needs all the help he can get. Good recovery there. Spot dodge, perfect, get another grab, two tilts, no, goes for the diamond in the sky. Uh, misses the one, 
That's the uh, the one grab that he could not afford to miss here. Nair sends him off. That's going to be the game. And where do you think that Chris... Oh, what? <laughs> I'm ready to think about the next match, but it's not over yet. Yeah, um, I, I don't like Sheik. And there you have it, folks. That's S-Man saying he hates Sheik. I know he said he didn't like Sheik, but with Sheik, it's hate. And so... Doug's going to forward throw him off. Oh, trying to send him off the top for the embarrassment. Crystal Knight comes back low. Doug playing with his food a little bit. Should have finished it because this is what happens. This is why I hate Sheik. Well, I don't know. If Doug had just thrown Sheik off the stage and then edgeguarded, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Sheik, she crawled into his mind. He could it. <laughs> like, um, when you commentate, look at the that screen, not that one. Wait, really? That way your words will sync up with it. Well, I mean, it'll be okay because uh, it's recording at, at good speed. I mean, he before when I was... couldn't kill Sheik off the side, so his mentality was maybe I could kill off the top, but little did he know he, you can't kill Sheik. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Man, he's like, man, he's like, you know this matchup is just all a mental game. Like, you know, he just couldn't keep it together. When he saw him off the edge, he just, like, fell apart. This is a perfect stage for fighting against Sheik when you're Marth. Reason being, there's no third platform at the top, so Sheik is if, he, if Sheik hits a platform, Marth is going to dominate with combos. Like there's no reason. running around doing Sheik camping stuff at the top platform. Yeah, she can still get her basic bread and butter. Oh wow, what a reversal there! Marth says I can too. <laughs> and right now, uh, Sheik saying you ain't got no needles. Here you go. <laughs> If Marth can just, I don't know, get himself in a position to uh, back throw that Sheik onto one of the platforms, Sheik will probably miss the tech and then Marth can get that patented tipper. Patented. patented. So patented. Yeah, we were, we were talking about tips when we were at a, a, a Waffle House and we were, we were talking about how we didn't tip them. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was an accident, yeah, it was, but... It was like we, it was, a, it was a definite, indefinite That's accident, but really we, yeah, Theo felt really bad because he was once, you know, in their position. But think about it, um, they didn't care. Well, see, exactly. They didn't actually, <laughs> they didn't seem very upset about anything. I mean, she just asked if we liked the food. We said, yeah, we didn't get any refills. We, we, we didn't even get our menus taken away. Dang. <laughs> and, and the kind of place for, uh, you know, Waffle House doesn't look like the kind of place where you'd really tip, you know? Like, it's not like they... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they, they cook for you. <laughs> kind of like fast food. So, do we, we tip water, fast food? Yeah. No. So, will we really tip? Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think... Uh, I think we should talk about the match. Uh, oh, sure, sure. We'll get <laughs> to the sorry. match. But should, should we... Should you tip specifically at Waffle House? I think if you're a Marth main, you, you should particularly tip... Um, yeah. If, if, if not, I'm not exactly sure if that would give you the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Uh, yeah, to be honest, we actually kind of forgot about that too. We didn't really think it was a... As, as a Roy main, I think you would like to stand, uh, sit at the table in the center of the stage, or in the center of the of the, the restaurant. So he, so he likes to enjoy his meal on the Pokeball. <laughs> don't, don't really go for any tips. Uh, you oh don't really God. appreciate the food there. <laughs> And that back throw is not going to work at this percentage. It's just too high. It has to be sub, what, 80, I guess? Yeah, I would to, I would have liked the forward throw because the Sheik was probably trying to DI towards. But this is 170. What, what Marth wants to do is a semi-spaced nair. Like right here, let Sheik get the edge. And then you want to do just a semi-spaced nair. If it trades, Sheik dies. If it hits, Sheik dies. If it's shielded, you still have position. Semi-spaced nair. Oh, nice. Dog. Doug well, choosing not to use the semi-spaced nair. And this is going to cost him. I bet he's going to come down and do the semi-space nair and then get the uh, get the kill. I think, I think he's just going to forge, man. <laughs> Shout out to semi-space nair. <laughs> apparently one of the most underappreciated moves. Uh, tries to go for the embarrassment. Another embarrassment. Not good. Sheik does not die, as we had discussed from the last uh, round. Well, Swaps him out with the forward air, but deep down inside, we know he wanted to use the semi-space nair. Yeah, yeah, he wanted uh, semi-space semi semi nair. <laughs> It works because it, it kills the unkillable. Exactly. Breaks Look at that. Unbreakable shakes. <laughs> Two tomahawks in a row from Crystal Knight, if I saw that right. Oh, my gosh. But that was a really good tech chase forward oh. smash tip. Forcer on stage. Crystal Knight will make it back, but it's just he's taking so much damage. I don't know. If... 
And around that percent, around 70, you can actually, depending on how your opponent DIs, you can actually up throw and then get a guaranteed king combo. I, I want to say guaranteed, but it's, it's really is dependent on your opponent's DI. But, but the opponent, it, it's very unlikely they'll be able to, because they have to get, like, perfect DI. Yeah, that's Not true. even just out. They have to be, like, out and down. I like to call that girlfriend DI. That's the kind of DI that's only going to work consistently on a woman. <laughs> what? Yeah, and so we yeah. move on. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no. We're not moving wait, wait, anywhere. Yeah, what? We're, we're, we're staying here. We're going to reverse so we can go through this alleyway again. Repeat that. Story. No, no. It's, what, it's, what does this mean? It's just that, uh, you know, I, I've never really seen girls that have pretty good DI as far as knowing which percents you need to DI certain ways. Usually, if they're good at DI and it's survival. Oh my gosh, the destruction. It's survival DI where you're just holding up all the time. <laughs> but, uh, Finish this sentence. <laughs> the <Yeah>. destruction. <laughs> but uh, as okay. far as right. DIing left and right to get out of combos, I haven't seen girls being pretty good at that. Even as far as Moti and Kiwi, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys can confirm. Let me know. Oh, okay. yeah. Moti's a girl. Girls can't DI. <laughs> girls can't DI. I don't, I, I don't know. They, like, we're saying you can play melee. But you can't. Something yeah. tells me Kiwi is a trans. Anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. She, I, a Kiwi was hitting on uh, what's his name, Neo. Uh -oh. So does that mean that Neo's in the transvestites? I don't know. You guys tell me. Is Neo in the transvestites? <laughs> and then the plot thickens. Does Neo main Sheik? Uh, Neo, as far as I know, um, he mains Marth, and I think also in Brawl. Oh, so so not a transvestite, just just a, a feminine yeah, person yeah, lover. Like some pretty boys. <laughs> um, Doug almost getting the down smash kill off the top. But now Chris going for a more spatial game back back airs and good recovery. Oh man. Uh, Chris on Ice Di is really good this match though. You have to hand it to him. He might have the best Di in Sova. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, he's not Sova, so he doesn't count. Oh, he's not. <laughs> the competition still. He's an immigrant. We got a new crew. Oh him. wow, Theo is an immigrant apparently. Yes, so he has migrated. He represents Duke, and he's very proud of it. So he can't he can't represent two countries. We are going to Battlefield. Weren't we at yeah, Battlefield earlier? Yeah, do that earlier? crew battle then. Five on one. Doug doesn't want. Wow. I almost succeeded with that mind game, but no. We are going to Fountain. Possibly the strongest Sheik stage, but it's really good for Marth. I, I don't know. We we isn't them. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Are we going there too? I I would like to go. You know? <laughs> I would like, like to visit. <laughs> it does I mean, look. It doesn't look like there's really any way out, but. Like if you can It'd imagine. Nice oh. Oh my god. If you could just imagine this as a playground, like. I'd be there every day. <laughs> Where's really? the way out? I'd be like, fuck that. Like, <laughs> like, like, you're on a fucking floating fountain. Yeah. Right there, the Doug went for that uh, up throw to Ken combo, but he tipped the forward air. If he had done the uh, the weak part of the forward air, he would have gotten the Ken combo, and that stock would have been done. Like, Good to know. Risky, risky. Like, there's no, there's oh. no water fountain. Where do you drink and from? That's it for that Just stock. to drink the ground, I guess, you know. Ew. First blood, Theo. Or Crystal Knight, or wherever he is now. Jew Killer. Jew Killer. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of racist. <laughs> horrible, horrible. Shout outs to Jews. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Shout outs to Israel. <laughs> How are you doing? Shout outs to Jews. Are you going to die? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be. A I'm gonna be a victim of terrorism. So I just know. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. You know I I love my accountant. You, know you, were, but <laughs> you, were, you were hearing a dual commentary. That's of terrible. Of, like you guys are hearing the commentary of none other than Team Terrorism. <laughs> right now, Doug is struggling to take so, that stock. Hasn't taken much percent, so I'm assuming I haven't been looking. But uh, guys, this, don't don't visit Fountain of Dreams. Uh, it doesn't look very safe. Every time you try to leave. You, Apparently explode off the side, yeah. or off if you, if you fall down too far, you, and there, you explode and, and you no lose a stock. Drink, and I hear in life you only have one stock. Um, <laughs> I don't think you wanna. You wanna, <laughs> you wanna you lose a stock in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want. You, wanna, like, you don't want to trade either. Yeah, like the devil will try to bait you, and, and you can't fall for it, man. You can't approach. That's right. See that? You, you consider yourself a Falco versus a very very good Marth or Sheik. <laughs> See, that's that's what the. What the hell are you watching? There? <laughs> but, oh, okay, but no. Nah. Right. I was like, already? Yeah. Is it time? <laughs> uh, the patience there pays I off. Can't follow my girlfriend I'm on Twitter. Freaking semi space nair is all that Marth needs right now. Just a semi space yeah. nair. And you want to do it retreating. That way, those dash grabs, those dash attacks, the nair trades with, and then you take the stock, and then it's a done deal. 
move on to the next stock. There we go. Nair always gets it done. But all it's going to take is one grab, one down throw, one forward air from Sheik. Boom. We're on to stock number three. Uh, almost. First you know. Almost. All right. Drew Killer. Up throw. Grab. Oh, oh. Trying to do some forward air comboing. Drew Killer getting killed. Almost gets a spike. Juice Knocks him back off the stage. Doug's doing oh, it for man. the juice today. <laughs> 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 one thing that I have noticed about this matchup, oh, good chain grabs there. Uh, one thing about this matchup, if Marth wants to win, he is going to have to be imbued with all the rage in the world so against Sheik. So we have to fight dirty. Jews are in control of the stage right now. Um, Jews are in control of everything. Yeah, though. anti Jews forced to the edge. Jew killer now off the edge again. <laughs> 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 the Jews now being controlled by the Jew killers. Uh, Doug needs to DI up out of there. He's we being go. Being herded Good. like Jew cattle. Jews now taking control again. Uh, should have rolled there, but you never know. That was a good recovery. Oh man. This Does not dash right. attack. Waits for the, the edge. pickup. Oh. Jews back on the stage. That's Jew, cool. that should be it for Jew killer. Again, Doug just needs a semi space nair. Jews. Right here. Jews, Jews need to work on their semi space nares. Just one. So, the, the Jews, oh, the diamonds. Jews, the Jews are very good at math, but they can also become very stubborn sometimes. What? <laughs> they, they will just space their nares, not semi space their nares. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and. Oh, that pose! <laughs> that pose! Oh. That's chic! <laughs> uh, Alright, so that was the first set. We're gonna do two sets, right? First of two sets? Yeah. Alright. Make a run back, Jews. Let's do it. Do it for the Jews. Do it for the Jews. Uh, we're gonna go Peach. Alright. That That's the eight point of stock for you, bruh. What you gonna do? Uh, I'll ban. That's the Octa Star. <laughs> Taking out 60. Dreamline 64. Started going. He's gonna bet FD. Didn't want he's FD. He's gonna run it to, uh, to Battlefield. Why didn't Why didn't Doug want FD? I wonder. Because I know he. Oh, okay. He feels more comfortable on that stage. It's not exactly particularly about the stage, even though those platforms are very dangerous. Um, it's not in the dreams as when you're fighting against Peach. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Didn't Doug banned FD, right? Yeah, Doug banned FD. So. Well. Be good. Yeah, we'll have to, uh, I would think Peach, and when it comes to this matchup, it's pretty even, but they say Peach wins on the bigger stages. Sheik wins on the smaller one, so I don't know about this. We'll see. I Just, thought FD was smaller. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the bigger it's, ones. It's one of the bigger ones, yeah. Uh, there's no platform. Right. Oh, that was a cool combo. Four tilt to Nair. I wonder if Doug is going to be able to catch Crystal Knight out of the air with more of those four tilts. That would be pretty interesting, actually. Try to figure out which moves have priority over which. Well, that slap seems to get it done. <laughs> One thing that's really good for Sheik in this matchup against Peach is her back air. It seems to outrange Peach in everything that she does. Oh man! Yeah. I can live stream. <laughs> and uh, uh, sh should definitely needle Peach down, make Peach have to use the up B mm. instead of letting Peach float all the way up to the stage. I mean, when you're edge guarding, I mean, going on the needle spree now. But maybe that's what, maybe that's all part of the plan. We'll see. Germans had a plan too. <laughs> now it's time for the Jews. They had that pinky in the brain scheme. We're gonna take over the Europe and then the world. Oh wow, Fares and back fighting from the uh, disadvantageous position. For a throw, pops a turnip, throws it high, forces the low recovery, lets him get the edge. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe you should throw the turnip a little lower to force the high recovery, and then you can air him off because Sheik would be forced to land on the stage with lag. Oh, nares him out. That's going to be the stock. Looking for that stitch, doesn't get it. Throws it up in a distraction, but Sheik doesn't take the bait. Sheik right now trying to do the utmost. I don't know. So, we go on to the final stock. <laughs> and again, that back air. Uh, neutral air to keep the pressure going. 
Uh, oh, wow. Nice. That was good on both players' parts. And, okay. Well, you know, this is Battlefield. This is perfect triangle position platforms. Uh, perfect for the Sheik Zone. Let's see if uh, Chris Malai is able to use those needles better than Doug is able to use the turnips. Uh, east to down smash. That's going to... Oh, power 69. Let's see. Oh, 69 failed. That could be it. Uh, that's going to be it. Now we have over 100%. That's going to be the... Uh, pow. Damn. Yeah, there's... Yeah, that was, that was a really good edge guard. Alright. So that was game one. Banning... Banning Yoshis. Doesn't want to play Peach on Yoshis. And we're going to see a creative counter pick here from uh, Crystal Knight. Final Destination. So creative. We're going to see why they say Theo's really good on this stage. Chucking those needles being so annoying. Uh, I don't know. Isn't that what you guys were saying? I was trying to figure out why Doug uh, struck it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can agree with that. Oh, oh. no, Doug! No! Off, Drops man. the stitch, or at least doesn't repick. So cool. Tries to throw those needles. Does. Parasol blocks the needle. Goes for the back air. That's good. I like it when Crystal Knight approaches with the back air. Seems safe. Seems like he's always protected. Dang, Doug knew. Man, what would have been the best way to get through that? I don't know. Yeah, maybe he air dodge through. I don't know. Uh, does that even do more damage than a turnip? No. It does less, but it's a cooler item because it lasts. Try to do the utmost. Never do the utmost. Never. Yeah. <laughs> Never do the utmost. I uh, should have been a forward air. The living being more valuable than a toast. But when you think about the up air, though, okay, you think about killing Peach vertically. Um, don't forget, a, I guess, uh, a simple jab. Actually, that's exactly what I would do here. Uh, at this percent, 147, I'd be looking for that quick jab. To boom. Just like that. Jab fair. And uh, you can especially abuse Sheik Speed with the wave dashes. Get the random jab out of wave dash. Boom. But, I mean, you don't want to have Peach living to 140 every time. So, uh, as far as killing vertically, uh, I think down throw up smash if they don't DI around 60 can kill. Uh, that's if they don't DI, though. And that's not going to happen. Uh, down air to up air can actually work at certain percents. Maybe not for the kill, but it's cool damage. Cool damage. Oh, look at that. Four tilt to the up air juggle. And Crystal Knight continues to annoy with those needles. And then when Doug gets close, he's going to use that back air. You're going to see him pull out the back air some more. Uh, bad DI on the forward throw. Move on to the next stock. Doug trying to uh, camp a little bit. Chris and I just waiting for that one hit. You know, if with, with the way that these two players are, are actually acting, or the way that Peach is acting right now, I think uh, Chris and I should be able to get the grab. I am fairly certain that Chris and I should be able to get that grab. Not anymore. It doesn't feel right anymore. <laughs> but yeah, at that range right there, Chris and I should definitely be using that back air some more. I don't know. Where would you say uh, in this particular matchup, uh, who has the advantage? Is it Sheik or is it Peach, uh, S-Man? Good lord, I have no idea about either of these characters. Um, hmm. Shoot. It looks like Peach has a slight advantage. And that could honestly be due to the fact that uh, Peach is a gay character. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I think Peach and Falco are both really gay characters. I think Sheik is nowhere near as bad as people say that she is. Because Sheik cannot approach. You don't see Crystal Knight approaching here. You, you see him chucking needles. You see Doug approaching a lot more than Crystal Knight, I think. Yeah. Peach does have the crouch chance of down smash. I, I like Peach's here. approaches. They're really Look at that. They're really tricky. You, oh, you really don't know what's going to come at you until like last second. That is true. 
If there was only a way to make Peach play predictably, I don't know. I'm thinking uh, Bear Spam? <laughs> bear Spam, maybe? I think wreck her on the first stop and then she'll keep trying to figure out what's wrong. <laughs> so apparently, okay, if we, we check out the Bear Spam, Peach retreats. I mean, Peach can only retreat so much, though. So if you can get Peach off the edge, isn't that what you want? Look at that grab. That was good. Was that a Tomahawk? I missed it. Don't do the utmost. You can't afford it. All right. <laughs> and then <laughs> we go on to the final stop. Doug right now trying to approach a little bit. Can't pull the turnips because of the needle. That is actually kind of cool. And uh, dash chance, a little dash chance Trixie. Gets a grab, but can't make anything out of it. Gets another grab. Gets a tilt out of it, that's it? I don't know, I think Nair might actually allow for combos out of that grab. Let's see if, we'll see if I'm right. Does an up air, that was not a Nair. Crystal Knight being kind of aggressive right now. Doug needs to find his footing. Can't pull a turn up. Oh, succeeds on one. If Doug pulls that first turn up, he can pull the rest. Now Crystal Knight has a full garden to worry about. Oh, good DI. Possibly the best DI in Sova. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on that list? Yeah, <laughs> everyone's on that list. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone has the best DI in Sova. <laughs> Sova has the best game. <laughs> oh, Aww. good game. What was that? 1 1? Mm -hmm. Alright. Flip mode is the greatest. <laughs> Flip mode? Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna see here. Throw some here. Yeah, no. Okay, I'm gonna forward tilt you now. Exactly. Very scary. Banning Dreamland. So Doug needs to think of a really good counter pick. He already won on Battlefield. He banned Yoshi's. I would uh, say Brinstar. If it were legal, but if we're going by Apex rules, you can't. What is legal anymore? Just the neutrals? Yep. Seriously? You can go P Stadium, that's not a good stage. We go to Fountain. Yeah, good like stage it. for both. Thing about this, you don't want to let Sheik get momentum, I guess. You don't want to let her abuse her speed, so you're going to see a really aggressive Peach here. And if... Oh, that was good patience there. And that's the thing. If, uh... If Theo can understand that, oh, and then uh, know that Peach is going to be aggressive, he can use that to his advantage. <laughs> All right, using the back air to get position, get a little bit of space. Uh, maybe I think he's trying to wave dash in and get the grab. That's going to cost him there. Chucking needles on the ground, Peach can chuck them from the platforms, Pe chuck the uh, ne uh, turnips. Doug right now, holding center stage pretty well. He gets bounced out the moment I say that, wow. Now still holding center stage. Rolls in because he really wants center stage, that's how bad he wants center stage. Wow. Crystal Knight fighting back with his own down smash. Down air to up air. Who called it? Who said that that was a combo? I'm raising my hand. <laughs> I said that was a combo. Every time. It looks like uh, that seems to be Crystal Knight's best or favorite way of punishing Peach's down smash with his own down smash out of uh, Wave Dash. I don't know if that's the best thing that he can do there. What do you think? Uh, what do you think is the best way to punish Peach's down smash as she? Um, you run away and you start throwing more needles. Hmm. Wise words from S Man who doesn't play Sheik. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're far enough to throw you get, needles, you shouldn't be getting hit by the forge. You, 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 you get away from the down smash. <laughs> that is how you counter it. <laughs> get away from the down smash. All right. Well, S stay away from the cyclone. You won't get pulled in. Well, Avoid the twister. I don't know. I don't know. I think. Uh, I think it's worth getting some kind of damage in. I mean, like, if you're already in a good position. You won't be getting hit by it anyway, but if you're like on block, then I, I don't know if you can really do much. Well, I mean, they really you can, you can read. You can be like, oh, they're gonna do this afterwards, but I mean, it's pretty safe. So. I see what you're saying. Uh, something that's really good actually about Sheik. Oh, trying to Giant be tricky. Shield. Exactly that that massive shield, thanks to Zelda, her other <laughs> half. Uh, it uh, makes her able to eat more down smash. See there, completely safe. Oh my gosh! He read that, that uh, spot dodge. You know, I don't. That's how he got it in. I, I don't know if he's uh, if he's seen openings and able, and that's the reason why he's doing the down smash. I actually think Crystal Knight is doing the down smash so that he can uh, 
say my down smash is better than yours and make Doug stop doing down smashing. I don't know. I think it's a mind game. Like mine, but my down smash is better. He's not paying attention. He might just get in the habit of, oh man, uh, I, have a, I have this bad feeling every time I do a down smash because I get down smashed. I don't want to do it anymore. Exactly, He's exactly. He's paying attention. He's like, oh, it's, uh, I should do more down smash. It's psychology, just training your opponent. But Doug, narrowing out. Doug ain't a dog. D Doug is He's not a dog. He's son. D <laughs> that dad ain't dog, that's Doug. <laughs> what? <laughs> How to train your Doug. How to train your Doug. Oh, that was beautiful. Now Crystal Knight needs to really pull something through. Grab. Oh, uh, oh, oh, wow. Who cares about the grab? He remembers. You can just push him off. That's right. <laughs> he remembered his jab to uh, fair at high percents. And here's the thing you're not going to get Peach. Uh, Crystal Knight needs to put all of his energy into not getting hit and then tacking on damage, taking the stock the legit way. Don't panic because you're on your last stock, just take the stock the legit way. Get, he knows that it's almost guaranteed if Peach gets to 130, 140, jab to fair. Uh, if he could just go ahead and put that damage on, get to, uh, get to the 130 mark, and then fight the last stock. I don't think these little needles are going to cut it, though. It's not enough percent. But he's not rushing it, and that's good. Oh, jab to grab. But misses the follow-up there. That can't really afford to miss those follow-ups. Peach with the grab. Chucks a turn up high. Sheik comes in down low. Oh! Oh! So close. What? Good patience there. Grab. That's going to be a forward air. Mm -hmm. Possibly another hit. Chris Knight does not want to get greedy here. He's getting a little too impatient. And the safe thing. Oh, that was really good retaliation. The safe thing to do when you're close is, again, the back air. This should be it. Good. And we go on to a final stock. Chris Knight played that one pretty well. He's that still in the game. Platform. That's Guaranteed right. Slap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, is that going to be the mistake that cost the game? Nah. Remember, best DI in silver is best? everyone. Oh, uh, well, good games, guys. Wait, wait, was that set 1-1? One, one? Oh, You're not going to commentate on another set? Oh, my gosh. Wow, we are commentating on a third set. Well. This set's going to take a little while. Peach and, and Cheek. Quite the recoveries they have. It is 1.30 in the morning. It just turned 1.30, as I said, that I make time what it is <laughs> and it is currently christmas eve merry christmas to everyone out there who uh, uh i guess isn't a jew uh, wow <laughs> and, and happy christmas oh, to those in canada happy and, christmas uh, happy holidays to happy those holidays. who aren't in the u.s and uh happy happy uh happy fourth of july happy fourth of july shout out to will smith <laughs> all right <and> we, <laughs> we go on to the chic to know on yoshi's story um Wall Smoth. All right, are we are we seeing chain grabs? I don't think we're gonna be chain grabbing here. So when you do the non chain grab route, that's right. Look at those tilts. Good combos from Doug. This is so straightforward. This is like extremely straightforward. I'm just gonna. Yes, you stay true. Hmm. No, no weeds. No cutting around it. Just be yourself. Oh, good tilts coming from Crystal Knight. This is story. Just be yourself. Crystal Knight choosing to uh, combo a bit instead of just throw Doug off. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Crystal Knight will pick this up, but only after taking 34%. 32. Gonna get jabbed. Mm, maybe about 48. He's gonna get the needle. I don't know. I'm thinking 34%. Oh, he sends out his hat. Ah! I still say 48. Alright. S Man says 40. Oh, 45. Okay. Well, was... you, you were closer without going over. You won the prices right big. Yes! So. What do I win? Uh, you win. win. This wonderful toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Toasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, how to play a chic ditto? I like to fill myself with darkness and direct all of my rage that consumes me toward the other chic. It's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like a circuit. Where the energy flows from negative to positive, except all of my energy is negative, and so is the uh, the opponent's. So it kind of just blows up in one big 
explosion. <laughs> Two negatives attract my friend. Wait. <laughs> Wait, they repel, don't they? Oh my gosh, I meant repel. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shout outs oh, to my, physics. Wall <laughs> small. He did this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we go on to the Sheik Ditto with the elephant gazing in the background. And we have Crystal Knight trying to force Doug up top. Does the down? Oh, trying to do the Kirby Kaze, but it's not worth it. Not when you're behind. You can't. You can't be flashing when you're behind. That's what makes over what it is. Weak back air. Get some space. Get some running room. Neither player using dash attacks. Neither player needs them. Dang, he did not want to get hit by that back air. <laughs> Said peace. I'm out. Crystal Knight needs to zero death Doug right now. This is how it starts. This is ah! Justin Wong. Justin Wong. This is the slowest zero to death I've ever seen. It's already been hit too. Oh wow. Rising up air combos. Wow, that was such a beautiful back air, and Crystal Knight delivers the magic. Trapped on top of that platform, gets off safely. Ah, uh, that could have been a really cool edge guard right there by Doug if he had done something risky right there. Oh, power shielded it. No fear now. That is a momentum changer. That's what I like to call it. You see Doug in complete control. This could be it. Is Crystal Knight di left? No, he eats the fair. I don't know. I think it would have di left name for the platform. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We're going to go to Fountain and do a chic ditto. I don't know. I uh, everyone just wants to ban a stage, but only one person can because it's just a capitalistic society. Capitalistic. Stages. We don't ban stages. We, in fact, we play on green greens. I mean, I don't. Oh, you, you want to play on green next time we play? Let's let's do a green greens tourney right oh now. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I'm entering twice. Crystal Knight has some pretty good dash dancing. I like the way it looks, but he ends up running into attacks more. I think he needs to actually mix in shields, random shields, with this dash dance, and then wave dash out of them. I think that'd be really cool movement. Give himself a few more options, a little safety too. Back airs always seem to work when Crystal Knight pulls him out. Alright, let's focus on Doug right now. Let's see what Doug is doing so well that makes him keep this commanding lead. Well, he's on the defensive right now, and this is probably going to be a stock. Crystal Knight trying to fake Doug out. Tries to do it. He gets it! Wow, at that percent? I didn't know that was possible. Crystal Knight doing the utmost without doing the utmost. Still trying to do the utmost. Doug crouch cancels it, breaks out of the, the combo there. Doug trying to put his own little dash dance game to work. Uh, tilts onto the shield, punish a few times for it. Trixie movement from uh, Crystal Knight. Again, not capitalizing off of it, but it looks so cool. Both characters just jumping. I'm trying to figure out who has the better ground game at the moment. Looks like both characters are just spamming their aerials. Someone just needs to run up and just grab. Okay. And S-Man, you can tell me what you think about this. Just sometimes... S-Man's asleep. Alright, so we move on to the match. But no, sometimes you just gotta run up and grab. Because it forces your opponent to change their battle plan. Their battle pattern. Specifically running up and grab. Not necessarily smashing or anything else. Run up and grab. All right. Little jab to grab. Tries to do a tech chase, but didn't need to. Teched in place. Doug gets the stock. Charges those needles already charged. Is he going to the top platform? He's going to the top platform. He's staying at top platform. Three more seconds, then he comes down. Interesting. Now Crystal Knight knows he's going to use that to his advantage later. I am manipulating it. I am the puppet master. Everybody's asleep. This is crazy. Deshaun is asleep. I need to take a picture of this. Deshaun is asleep. Yeah. I should have taken that picture anyway, even though he's awake. 
Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about ready to go to sleep too. Well, uh, just gonna tilt it out. Doug should have DI'd away and just taken fewer hits. That was a good shield on those needles. Uh, wow, wow. Mistakes from both players there. Has him at percent. Let's see how Doug wants to finish this one. Bread and butter. Alright. Campiest player wins. Let's see who that would be. Neither player wants to camp just because I said... No, Doug's going to camp it out. Crystal Knight's going to take the bait. Boom. Crystal Knight does not need to go high here. He needs to maintain stage control on the bottom. Don't let Doug get below. Uh, Doug got below. He slipped all the way to the other side. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. Whoever, I don't know, man. I'm like, my energy is like at zero. Uh, about to take that, that nap. Down throw. Misses the follow up. But if the down throw pops onto a platform, then it can lead into a down air, up air tech chase. Interesting. Is Chris Knight going to go for it? Is he going to do the utmost? No, he doesn't have to. Unfortunate. What is this? 1-1? One, 1-0? One? One, oh, I'm done commentating. <laughs> It's 1-1? One, one? Okay, I can commentate one more. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, no, no, no. The first was uh, Marth Sheik and then Pete Sheik. Set three right now. Sheik, Sheik. Oh, it's like two ninjas going at it, that's all. It's like two of the character I hate so much going at it. Huh. All right. I don't know. I don't like the form on either of these Sheiks. Looks like they're just practicing ballet instead of fighting. <laughs> that was really good spacing on the back air there. It's not what I would have done. I would have narrowed out a shield against the uh, ledge hop fair. Semi space nair. Actually, it would have been a semi space nair. <laughs> oh, wow. Good stuff, Adam. You know who? Okay. You would have been a lot better off if you had just run the uh, semi space nair. All right. You know who it was that actually mentioned semi space nair against Sheik? Mewtwo King. And he is like, this is what I do against Sheik. It's actually what Ken does as well. He... Mewtwo King sucks, right? Dang. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> so. I heard from all. I heard from Ethan that Mewtwo King's a punk bitch. Damn. So uh, I'm gonna edit that one out. Oh, look at those needles. Oh, good stuff from Doug. It's gonna ledge hop down air into up air, forward air instead. Probably for the best. Up smash. That was not good. Oh, kicks up the skirt. <laughs> You know what I would do? I would throw some aerial needle. Oh, okay, Doug knew. Oh, wow. That is a momentum changer when you duck a needle. Gonna see Crystal Knight get in there with three consecutive hits. Or not. Doug is just going to bring this all the way home. Oh my gosh. OMG. Man, this commentary is great. This is the best commentary in the world. I feel like this commentary started off really good. And then... It got great. <laughs> and then it got, it got great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want? I think I'm going to actually um, mix that root beer and blue parrot, or parrot bay. Blue parrot? I keep calling it blue parrot because it tastes like... Blue? <laughs> exactly. Maybe I, don't, maybe I don't need any alcohol right now. 
Anyway. No, you should drink, so I'm not the only one drinking. Oh, okay, sure. I don't want you to drink alone. Unless he's drinking, but I doubt it. Down throw, forward tilt, force onto the stage. Me too, but I have to drive five minutes. As opposed to... Fake out? I don't know. Force onto the stage? I mean, that's perfect. You know what? Forget the edge guards. Oh wow, good shield pressure from Doug. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, Doug, that was amazing. That was simply amazing. Down throw. That would be some shit like, it's actually pretty cold. How about you get in the car? Yeah. <laughs> we'll discuss this in here. Pretty talking. Pretty talking. Pretty talking. Oh, cross cancels him out. Tilt a fair. Bread and butter. Oh, wow. That was awesome, guys. Really, really good stuff from the both of you. You should both, there. should both be so proud. I was like, wow. Five, the, the this is Ether checking out on mic one. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, I'm tired. <laughs>